Here's the setup for my experiment. I have one microphone placed approximately four feet away from the amp. Now, I also have another microphone placed probably where it should be, directly in front of the amp. Now, that's going to get a pretty pure signal out of the amp. However, this microphone is going to be getting not only the sound coming directly from the amp, but also the reflection off of the wall. Sound, traveling at around 1100 feet per second, is going to take an, about a millisecond to go the additional 1.1 feet that it has to travel to reach this microphone. This very slight delay won't make you hear two different signals, but what it's going to do is every every peak in a one kilohertz wave is going to be reaching high here, but the reflection will be reaching low, so it's going to cancel out all one kilohertz tones and all intervals thereafter. This is going to produce comb filtering, so when you look at the audio in a spectrum analyzer, you will see dips around 1K and 2K, 3K, but the primary one will be at 1K. That's what we're going to look at. I'm Mike Fitzsimmons, and this is my experiment for comb filtering. Here I have set up a few spectrum analyzers. Alright, so we have track 1 is the microphone that is the furthest away. Track 3 is going to be the close-up microphone. And then track 2 I have as a direct output from the amp. Not a microphone, it's a line out. So this should be the pure audio from the guitar through the amp. This should be through the speaker. And then this should be through the speaker with some comb filtering. Now we're going to be looking at comparing around 1K. That's going to be our focus. So you can see that this frequency right above 1K is actually coming up pretty strongly in the microphone that's placed right in front of the amp. However, you'll notice a slight dip on the microphone that's placed further away. Check it out. That dip, that's comb filtering. And that's why you want your microphone to be placed really close to the source. So I hope you enjoyed watching me try and find more hands than I actually have, and I apologize for the shakiness of the video. Um, yeah, so not that you really needed this experiment to realize it, but microphone four feet away from the amp, not the best. Thanks for watching. Hi, my name is Mike Fitzsimmons, and I'm doing an experiment. You didn't see that. Here's the setup for my experiment. One, 